Hi, in this video I wanted to demonstrate for you how to recall a email from Outlook 365. Now this will probably not be the same method for um, earlier versions of Outlook. And the other unfortunate thing about this version of Outlook is it doesn't give you as many options for how you can recall an email. Um, but what I will do is I'll open up my other Outlook account so we can see those differences and I'll show you that in a different video. Okay, um, let's say that you want to compose an email and you just, you know, go up here to this ribbon and select a new mail. And I'm going to send this to myself so you can see what happens when you recall your, one of your own emails. And I'll just call this big mistake email. And I've already typed something up here, grabbed it from another document. So um, this is the um, uh, mistake email we'll send out. <laughs> Pay attention to this ray line up here. This is what will change in the next email. Okay, so let's just pretend I sent this to myself, or I sent it out to somebody else, and um, just hit your send button, and off it goes. What you would need to do is go into your sent items, and this is an earlier one I did, so I'll just delete that so it's not uh, confusing, and um, open that email that you sent. Just go ahead right there and open it up. Now, this is what's confusing too, because when I first when I first did this, um, the very first time this morning, my ribbon up here looked like this. But anyway, um, you need the, if, if you want to have it look like the uh, old ribbon, go to this little tiny arrow right here, which we've never seen in a million years unless someone pointed it out to you, and open this up and select classic ribbon. Okay, so anyway, this is the button that you're interested in, recall message. Just click this select it and it says recalling this message will delete it from the mailboxes of all recipients do you want to proceed and just select OK now in the other version of Outlook you can you have two different options you can totally recall the email so there's no record of it in the other person's account whatsoever like they even if they opened it the email will still disappear um, it will disappear if they haven't opened it. The other option was that you could, um, even if the person had opened the email, you could make a change to the email on your end and re you know resend the go through the process again, and it will change the email in their account without having to pull that email totally out of their account. So I don't know if like they'd have to close it and then reopen it at a later time and see the corrected email or what, but it may just correct right in front of them for all I know. Uh, but in any event, you don't have those options with this version of Outlook. It's just a simple recall process and that's it. That's what you get. So that email is uh, no longer, well, hopefully, well, we'll see what the status is. So close this and um, now go to your inbox okay and here you're getting uh, an office 365 report about that recall so let's open that up and see what it says it says view your uh, e view messages recall report so click on that and you're going to get this next window here which is the recall report now you notice here it says it hasn't recalled anything yet. It takes a minute. Some kind of thing has to go out through the <laughs> go out through the internets, the interwebs, and over to the other email box and check things out there. But it's doing the work right here. You can see one is pending now. If you had sent this to two or three people, it would say uh, two or three people, however many pending here. Uh, but you can get an idea of what's going on. Just click on that pending tab here. It's telling you who the recipients were. And it says this, the recall action can't be performed right now, but we we'll keep trying. Please check back later. And it, it never really takes more than a minute or two. One time I sent like an email to like three different people. My One of the CCs was to myself, so I'd have a record in my email. But So it was two other people and it took like... I don't know, like 10 minutes or something, but maybe maybe less time, like five minutes. But this should be like no time at all. So one way that, you know, you can do something for a couple seconds and then look back and you can press this refresh button to see if it's gotten the data yet. And now I know that it has because, look, pending is now zero and recalled is one. So if you want to know, um, you know, what the status of that was, you can just click recall and it says message successfully recalled. 
and that means that nobody has read the email yet so they were able to pull that message right out of the email account nobody had opened it if somebody had already read the email it will say message recalled or message has already been read but it was successfully recalled so the person is going to have a big surprise the next time they go back for look to look for that email it'll be gone so it anyway it gives you a chance to uh decide if you want to rewrite the message or uh you know just n not send the message at all but what you can do too is once you've um recalled the message if you want go into your send um, your sent folder pull up that message again and you can you know do your forward hang here and just relate uh, what I do is if I need to do this and it happens whatever you send a wrong email out get the person's name wrong or the date wrong or maybe you get mad and send somebody an email and you want to repull it take it out you know out of their mailbox and just do what I just did just delete all of the information above and this time you're gonna say characteristics of um, you know, uh, poorly designed course materials, okay, and, you know, resend it out to whoever, <laughs> send, okay, so that's, that's one way that you can do it, and then you can see here, now if you, um, you can see you get the email, if you, uh, you know you can't remember these steps so you can't find them or whatever I did have some luck this time doing a help search this can take a long time um, my computer's been slow lately though and just do a search for how do I recall an email and um, the steps are right here so it says recall or replace an email message that you sent out now, I don't know, I, that didn't uh, replace anything for me. Restore deleted email messages in Outlook using email in Outlook on the web Microsoft support. Let's just drop this down here and see. Um, message recall is available after you select send and is available only if both you and the recipient have Microsoft 365. See, there's some differences here because the other account, the other Outlook I use is not, I don't think it's Microsoft 365. Um, so there are different ways that you can do it. Um, sent items, recall button, shortly thereafter you'll receive a message recall report in your inbox. Select the link in that message to see whether your recall is succeeded, pending or failed. So that's it. There's no like um, just edit the email in their account with this version. If you want that function, you want to learn how to do that, and you have the older version of Outlook, you can look for my next video. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.